Chancellor Jeremy Hunt's big-budget announcement risks backfiring as campaigners demand clarity over his plan. Pensioner groups are demanding urgent clarity from Jeremy Hunt over his plan to axe national insurance. They fear reforms signaled in the budget statement will clobber the elderly. And they warn some pensioners are being forced to sit in the dark or eat dog food because they have run out of money. The Chancellor told MPs he wanted to end the double taxation of work, and Treasury sources have confirmed this means axing employee knee contributions, charged on wages in addition to income tax. But the government has declined to reveal further details, prompting concerns about how the policy will work. Campaigners say merging knee and income tax could boost take-home pay for working people, but lead to higher bills for pensioners, who usually only pay tax. Sally Sukaris, General Secretary of the Civil Service Pensioners Alliance, said, Pensioners need urgent clarity. Many will have been alarmed by the suggestion that income tax and knee may be merged. That measure would be an outrageous transfer of the tax burden from working people to those that paid in all through their working life. She added, How can the Chancellor justify clobbering pensioners further? Joanna Elson, Chief Executive of Charity Independent Age, said, after several years of rocketing price rises from all angles, many of those we support have been left with little ability to afford even the essentials. One woman told us she was skipping meals because her health condition means she has to keep her house at a certain temperature, and she can't afford to do both. A man told us he's been eating dog food because it's cheaper. A Treasury source said, the ambition is to end the unfairness of the double taxation of work. We won't do this by increasing tax on people in work. Our ultimate ambition is to abolish knee contributions. The Treasury also highlighted the decision to support pensioners by maintaining the triple lock, which means the state pension rises by 8.5% next month. Mr Hunt last week announced a 2p cut in knee, coming on top of an earlier 2p cut in January. It means employee knee contributions have fallen from 12p to 8p, saving the average worker £900 a year. But some Tories believe his decision to fly a kite about axing knee risks backfiring, with Labour pointing out that simply ending employee contributions without a replacement would cost the Treasury £46 billion. There also are fears voters do not notice cuts to it in the same way as reductions to income tax. One Conservative said, it's not going to make any difference. It's not going to turn the adding to Mr Hunt's woes. Labour is seeking to capitalise on the government's decision to freeze income tax thresholds at 2021 levels, which effectively pushes up bills due to inflation.